So hello guys, it's been some time since I uploaded my last video. Uh, actually, I just went back from vacation. And in this video, I will be showing you how you can create a um, footstep based on the surface that the player currently wa is walking on. It's gonna be a very simple tutorial and it's gonna be very quick. So make sure you follow along with this video. You can also jump to a different part of the video using the timestamps below. And also you can download the full project in the link description for free. So yeah, let's get started. Here I will be making a project name called YouTube Arsenal Footstep. I'll be using the default third person template for this video. And let's just create the project. And now I will be importing all of this asset into the project. Make sure you have downloaded this one in the description. And disclaimer, I do not own all of the sound effect here. And it's only for educational purposes. So make sure you use this wisely. Okay, so here I will create a new folder. I'll And I will name this uh, footstep sound effects. Go back to this and just drag all of this into the project. And here I will be creating a queue. Basically, if you want to combine multiple sound into one file, or maybe you want to uh, change the pitch, the volume of the sound effect, you can actually use queue as an alternative to just you double clicking on this and just uh, set the volume and pitch there. And actually, you can't uh, combine multiple files in one um, sound. And if you want to do that, you have to create a queue. So how to create a queue? Just very simple. Right click on one of the file here. Just click on create queue. I'll name this um, queue underscore concrete footstep. Double click on it. Here you got this output, which is like a, a speaker here. It means that every uh, sound that we uh, plug into this output will be played and will be outputted into the game. Since we have two footstep, two concrete footstep over here, we can actually drag one, uh, drag the other. Make sure you got this two selected and you can uh, unplug this cable here by holding all and here i will type random and now you can um, plug the second first step into this random and if you have more let's say you can click on this app input and just maybe drag off one of them and plug it that in i will remove it now and plug the output into this um subwoofer over here and now when you click play queue Now, as you can hear, the sound is playing uh, randomly with both of this. Okay, and also I want to create a modulator. A modulator allows you to control the pitch and volume. So basically, let's say I'm gonna make it 0.8 min and 1.15 on the max, and volume 0.5 minimum and 0.75 maximum. And now when you click play. You can hear like a pitch different on each um, sound being played and it sounds more natural and just click save i will duplicate the concrete footstep here ctrl d q underscore grass footstep double click on it and i'll change this into the grass over here click save and now for the metal footstep q underscore metal footstep Drag it off like that. Replace this like that. And the last one, Q underscore sand footstep. Um, you can customize all of this by your own. So feel free to um, use your own footstep or maybe if you have other surface, maybe like glass or water, feel free to use that instead. And click save. And now let's go to the edit project settings. Go to all settings and we're gonna search for surface type. surface yep surface sorry and you can rename some of this maybe to grass i also have concrete metal and sand like that very easy and then on the content browser i will create a new folder called this material and in this folder i will create another folder name this physical material double click on that now you can right click and go to the physics and choose the physical material over there just click on this and select. I'll name this fish mat underscore grass. Double click on it. Choose the surface type to grass. If you don't see this, I think it's because you haven't currently set the surface type over here. So make sure you did that correctly first before you go before you select the surface type here. I'll go click on grass, save it, uh, duplicate the file, and I'll name this physical mat underscore concrete. 
just this two concrete. Another one, this mat, underscore metal. And last one is set. Like that. And now we're gonna create a new blueprint class. Um, pick the all class to be any notify. Click on this one right here, not the other one. Click this one. Let's click select. I will name this AN stands for any notify underscore footstep. Double click on it. And I see this blank screen over here. What's gonna do is uh, you have to override a function. Just go to the function tab over here and just click override on receive. Modify. The idea is you want to uh, trace from your plane character into the ground, which means that you have to use what is called a line trace. And to do that, we can use line trace by channel. On the mesh, come here, just get owner. Sorry, not that one. Get owner. Get its actor location. It's gonna be the start location, and for the end location, we have to add this vector into something else, which is the get actor um, for uh, sorry, down direction, up direction, up vector. Sorry, yeah, get actor up vector, and you have to multiply this by a distance to your uh, to the ground. Sorry, and this is this is vector, and you can right click on it and convert that to a float. Maybe this will be negative one fifty. Should be good. All right and plug this in into the end and now we can draw the debug type to be for duration it's only for debugging purposes only here you can hold b uh, plug the return value into this condition and out, on the out hit here break the hit result and you can play sound at location just plug the uh, location into the location there and for the sound here you can drag off the physical material I'll get I'll say get surface type and yep let's create a new data asset let's compile it first here I click on create a new blueprint class on the all class here type for data asset click on a primary data asset here select that I will name this cda underscore uh, footstep data double click on that create a new variables and I'll name this footstep data oh, sorry footstep convict we have to change the variable type to be surface e physical surface click on that and choose the map here and for the second variable just change it to sound and you will see many different kind of sound classes i will just choose the sound base this includes both sound wave and sound cue and other um sound asset as well just make sure you select the sound base there compile that just minimize it and now we can create a new data asset there from this one says for pda and score footstep data select that d i'll name this da i'll stands for i'll name this da stands for data asset underscore footstep config open that and um, click a new footstep config grass here go back into the footstep son effect i will plug the grass there and make sure you select it other than a default uh, physical surface since if you leave this to default and you click on the add here you will see that we cannot add a new key if it is uh, with the same value so make sure you select all the rest first before you do the default here okay go to the concrete choose the concrete here create a new one metal plug the metal and last one sand plug the sand in and now we can do the default i'll set the default to the concrete as of now just click save and actually why we do this if you're wondering it's because you can keep track of the asset that you were using in one place this is like a config data if you want to create a many different kind of surface type many different kind of sounds you can store it in one place which is using the data asset instead of you making it in like a blueprint or something like that it's very very a good practice if you try to utilize an asset so let's go back into this an underscore footstep create a new variables i'll name this footstep convict and on the type here just search for pda underscore footstep compile and on the footstep config this make sure you select this if you don't this will not be working so i um, just choose the d underscore footstep config and now let's drag this into the uh, event graph right click convert to value get if it's valid i will get the footstep convict here and i will 
fine and plug the surface type into the fine here if it's found the surface type you can now drag this into the playlist sound application and drag this uh, return value which is the sound just drag it to the sound here very easy check it copy paste the return node and set this to false set this to false and this set this to false very easy guys so i think that's probably it we can uh, compile and play it oops i forgot to set the physical material into the surface so let's grab something from the start content here i will create i'll drag in a cube to act as uh, our surface set this to grass duplicate this by, using, by holding alt and drag this will be concrete another one this will be um, metal here and last one will be our sand actually we don't have our sand just use the gray wall one here okay that's pretty much it delete this one and now you have two ways to set the physical material one is by going to the details panel here and set the physical material override set this to maybe grass or something like that but it's not a good practice since it it's like you force this a uh, particular object to be uh, set into a physical material but a good practice is to set it by the material panel over there you just have to double click on this material and set the physical material over here set this to grass okay do the same for the rest and the gravel here set this to um, concrete here for the metal and last one for the sand We have one thing to do, one last thing to do, is to set in the character animation. So we're gonna go to characters, mannequins, animation, just click on the menu or queen, that's pretty much the same. And go to the round forward here. Now you can create a new notify track. And on this one, make sure you, this is like the keyframe um, cursor right click on this and add notify choose the an as card footstep do the same for others as well now you can easily hear the footstep is playing it means that it should be working perfectly fine guys should be it let's go to the other character here the many here the run Create a notified, create a new notified track. Do the same thing as well. Click save. Save all, and now let's try the game out. When you walk on other surface, it will be it will play the default uh, full step, and once you get into this grass, you will hear. It will play the grass sound effect, concrete, metal, and last one sand. And yeah, it works perfectly fine. And to disable the red line there, you can just simply go to back to the footstep here and on and on the zero debug type, just set is to none. Okay. So yeah, maybe that's it for today. It's a pretty short and search for a tutorial make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any comments or suggestions make sure you leave comments down below and i hope it helps i will see you guys in the next one